in this lesson we will be discussing libraries and the library function and what does libraries means that in order to facilitate the end user C programming language or any programming language gives us some libraries and in those libraries we have some specified function which facilitate us in our business use cases for example for, to print some stuff to to for inputting uh, some data from the user we use scanf for printing we use printf so these these functions are being enclosed in stdio.h library so with the help of these library function it the task of these library function becomes easier more manageable and we can just the call those function and make use of uh, use of it instead of writing our code for each and every uh, task uh, so uh, for for all the normal scenarios we can use those functions we can use those libraries and in those libraries we can use those functions and just get our work started instead of writing the code uh, for the basic uh, functionality of any application so for example if I need to uh, construct uh, if I need to uh, fetch a value of pi in maths so I need to uh, just I need to install or I need to call that library and from in that library we have pi function which will give us the value and which will give us all those um, uh, mathematical calculation which involves pi and with the help of this we don't need to write any code for the pi uh, we just need to call that pi library or the function and then with the help of this we can easily play with that and just focus over the our core business logic so this is the overall uh, introduction of libraries and the library function so let's dive into this and it's our files our uh, libraries are the files of readily compiled code so we have already compiled code in the compiler and we just need to call it and it will uh, give us the access and the compiler uh, merge links with the C program during compilation so what is example so we have I had called five libraries and during compilation it will the compiler will call those five libraries and it will justify all those uh, function which we, I had used so for example if I am using a math library and uh, the function name is sqr sqrt square root but I am writing square root full squre R O O T. So this will give us an error because the square root which I am specifying is not available in that. So it will give us an syntax error. So the compiler will give us a uh, opportunity that it will compile the mathematical functions or any function it will uh, and check the uh, that the, this library contain the function or not if this contain it will give us no error and it will uh, move toward the another uh, command which we had provided so with the help of C program during compilation for example there are libraries of mathematical function string handling functions input and output function and uh, most of the facilities of C are provided by the uh, 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 libraries and most C program include at least one library which is stdio.h we can say that and then with the help of this we can easily fetch the relevant function which we need you need to ensure both the libraries linked to, uh, to your program and that its header file included in your program so when I uh, request the compiler to hash include Maths.h, for example, so I'm I'm ordering compiler to include Maths.h library and import all those functions which Maths.h has has and make I will make use of those function in my code in my business logic. So we you need to ensure both the library uh, included in a program libraries have the header file that define information to be used with the conjunction such that the function and data types so libraries have the ability to define that this is the function these function are only be used uh, in in our code and this is the data type which only these functions can accept so libraries have some set of uh, principles which we need to uh, follow when you include a header file the compiler adds function data types and other information in the header file to the list of reserve words and commands in the language so we we can say that then when Ever 
we include a header file all those functions or the compiler compile the function data type and other information all those header file and then it will uh, bind that our business logic and those header file in order to give us a complete coherent look in our code base and with the help of this we have standard input and output uh, routine libraries which are being enclosed in stdio.h uh, and with the uh, how we can include this uh, is that it hash include name.h what does it mean that hash include include name.h means that the name uh, the name of the library should be available here so what does it mean that hash include stdio.h means it will give us all the functions which are involved in input and output string on h we had studied in the string section that we have str copy we have str cat so we need to import string.h library in order to use those functions also so hash include string.h match.h will give us the mathematical functions such as sin, sign and cause and then std lib.h will give us the malloc and rand, rand. so what what does rand means it's a random operator so i need to uh, generate some numbers over the random uh, approach so i will use rand function and with the help of this rand function i can uh, easily generate a number on the random basis so uh, for this i need to install or i need to use std lib.h and then what is malloc it is used for the memory allocation and we can use this with the help of std lib.h and with then we have time.h for example if i need I, if i have a code and i need to check that how much in how many seconds how many minutes it is being executed i used to import time.h library and which will provide the time tracker the time the hours minute days and uh, all the things months uh, the time matrices which we need in order to execute our program so with the help of these libraries and those functions it is more easier for us to directly import the data or we can say the directly just focus over the core business logic and we just need to forget about the basic thing which are because the basic things are being provided by the library then some in some of the programming languages that uh, some of the advanced things are being provided by the libraries as well such as in python then we can have the uh, header file include library functions some commonly used library functions are printf scanf get sports we have the power we have square uh, square root then we have exit and we use these function in our daily use so that in order to uh, take the use from the, uh, take use uh, of this function uh, for our different video stuff so this is the whole introduction about library and the library function and why these are so important in any programming language so please go through this so that you can have a clear understanding